Have you ever faced a situation where life didn't go as planned? Ever thought, this wasn't my option A? Today we delve into the world of Sheryl Sandberg, Facebook's COO, who faced an unimaginable tragedy when her husband, Dave Goldberg, passed away suddenly. This event set her on a journey of grief, resilience, and ultimately, the pursuit of joy. A journey she chronicles in her book, Option B. The book is not just a memoir, but a beacon of hope, illuminating the path for those navigating through life's darkest tunnels. It's a testament to the indomitable human spirit that can rise from the ashes of despair. Sandberg explores the concept of resilience, a quality we all possess but often overlook. She guides us through the process of finding joy even after life has thrown its worst at us. Sheryl Sandberg's journey is a testament to the human spirit's resilience. She presents the concept of living some form of option B. Sandberg shares invaluable lessons in her book, one she learned in the hardest way possible. One of the key insights she shares is the concept of the three Ps. This idea suggests that in the face of adversity, we often fall prey to personalization, pervasiveness, and permanence. Sandberg urges us to avoid blaming ourselves for events beyond our control, resist the belief that a tragedy will taint every aspect of our lives, and challenge the assumption that a bad situation will never improve. She reminds us that time indeed has a healing effect. In the quest to cultivate resilience, Sandberg emphasizes the significance of gratitude. She suggests that expressing thanks, even for small things, can shift your mindset and bring about a positive change. She talks about the power of writing down moments of joy, small wins, and things we are grateful for, as this can provide a daily boost and help us focus on the positives in life. She also discusses the importance of control. She tells us that having a sense of control, even if it's not exercised, can reduce stress and empower us. Knowing that we have a metaphorical emergency button to push in challenging times is comforting and empowering. Sandberg then introduces the concept of post-traumatic growth, which involves finding strength, appreciation, deeper relationships, meaning, and new possibilities after facing adversity. She shares her personal experiences and how she found new strength in the face of her loss. When it comes to helping children build resilience, Sandberg shares her family's rules. She emphasizes the importance of control, learning from failure, self-worth, and seeking support when needed. Lastly, she teaches the power of double sorries. She explains how quick apologies and mirroring or acknowledging others' feelings can promote understanding and connection. These are just a few of the pearls of wisdom Sandberg shares in her book, each a testament to her journey and the power of resilience. In the face of option B, we can find strength, cultivate resilience, and rediscover joy. And that's a lesson we can all learn from. Option B is more than just a book. It's a guide to weathering life's toughest storms. It's a story of resilience, of finding joy in the face of tragedy, and of understanding that life is never perfect. Sandberg's three Ps, personalization, pervasiveness, and permanence, remind us not to blame ourselves for events beyond our control, to resist the belief that a tragedy will impact every aspect of our lives, and to challenge the idea that a bad situation will never improve. These insights, along with the power of gratitude, the importance of control, and the concept of post-traumatic growth can help us navigate our own option Bs. So whether you're dealing with a personal tragedy or simply facing everyday challenges, remember, resilience can be cultivated and joy can be rediscovered even after the darkest moments. If you found this summary insightful, hit the like button, share, and subscribe for more content. Share your thoughts on option B in the comments. Until next time, stay resilient.